Hello, I'm Alex. I'm a third year engineer studying at Jesus, same as earlier. Alex is also a housemate and uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, great, so we've got some questions for you, Alex. Wonderful. First of all, tell us a bit about your course. Okay, so in the first two years, it's completely general engineering. You can do all sorts of things. You do electronics, you do parts of maths, you do structures, you do a little bit of aerospace, a little bit of mechanical engineering. Then in the third and fourth year, you choose what modules you want to do. So, for instance, I'm doing mostly aerospace engineering at the moment, things like fluids. I'm also doing a bit of information engineering, which is more computery stuff. Um, I can really decide between them, so I thought I'd go for both. Um, six, so yeah, like I said, four years. And um, what A-levels do you recommend people study for engineering at Cambridge? Definitely maths and physics. I think further maths is very important as well. Most people do do that. I think that gives you a big advantage when you're applying. Um, I personally did chemistry as well for my fourth one. Um, some people get in with three. One of my, my lab partner last year had three A-levels. He just did maths, further maths and physics, I believe. Um, some people do computer science or electronics or something along those lines. Um, but maths, further maths and physics probably the most important ones. Mm. And um, did you get the standard A star, A star, A offer or two A star yeah. and two A's? Yeah, so when I applied, I was expecting just sort of two A stars and an A in anything. It turns out they actually tell you what you need to get the offer in. So I needed an A star further maths and A star physics and then two A's in the other two. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was a bit unexpected. I thought it was just going to be any A-levels. No one really told me that. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. And uh, tell us a bit about your interview. Um, so I had two interviews. I was expecting there to be questions on my personal statement, on why I wanted to do engineering, things like that. It wasn't, it was literally just maths. So I went in, they introduced themselves briefly, and then they asked me maths and physics questions. I just had to do it in front of them. Um, it was just all technical stuff, really. Mm. I think some unis you do get asked more about why you want to study a certain course, or definitely other courses, things like humanities. There'll be a lot more wordy questions, but not with engineering. Interesting. And do you remember any of these specific maths or physics questions? Um, I don't remember specifics, I think. So in my first interview, I had to, they gave me a question sheet that I went through beforehand, um, just sat outside the interview. I was in a room, they gave it to me and I went through it. Um, we then talked about those problems in the interview and we went over the ones I couldn't do and they gave me a few more as well. Mm -hmm. Then in my second interview, they gave me more mechanics questions. Mm -hmm. um, so it's me for engineering, there will probably be mechanics sort of questions. There's probably going to be maths in terms of like vectors, um, maybe a bit of probability, things like that. And calculus? Yeah, yeah, I think there was a little bit of calculus that tends to be in. Okay, that's cool. Uh, how did you prepare for your interviews and how would you recommend students prepare for their interviews? Um, so I'd say not just doing past papers, like A-level past papers, because that, that's not really what they're looking for in interviews. Um, I personally I went on the internet and I found all sorts of questions that I just thought were quite interesting. Um, I watched YouTube videos of, not your YouTube videos, um, I watched YouTube videos of people that had come up with interesting questions and sort of got me to think about outside the box, more challenging things. Um, so I just got a lot of paper, just did some calculations, sort of whatever I thought might be applicable or interesting or useful like I just calculated the geometry of like stacking spheres together in three dimensions um, just doing things like that as opposed to necessarily doing a level questions mm. but it is important that you know most of the things that you've been doing in your course like all the basic stuff but they're going to be more asking you to do problems that you haven't necessarily seen before that's good uh, thanks for that um, you mentioned your personal statement, uh, even though it didn't come up, I guess it's still quite important to have like, a good personal statement. What kind of stuff did you write in your personal statement, if you remember? I don't remember. I think that shows you it's not that important, but 
as long yeah. as you do something. Make sure you're prepared for any questions that they might ask you, just in case that it does come up. Yeah. Um, obviously have answers to why you want to study things, but it's most likely just going to be maths questions. I think in general, STEM subjects might have fewer questions based on your personal statement, or humanities might have more questions based on your personal statement. Uh, but obviously that isn't always the case. Uh, anyway, now just in general, um, do you have any study tips? Like what kind of stuff do you do, methods, that kind of stuff? Um, not necessary. I'd say the in Cambridge Engineering, the lecture notes tend to be quite good. So I, I wasted a lot of time making my own notes. I don't think that was particularly helpful a lot of the time because I, I spent ages making them look really pretty, making sure I highlighted all the right things, got all the right colors. I think that was definitely not my best use of time. Um, I think definitely for Cambridge, probably for a lot of other unis as well, just doing past papers is the way to go forward. Um, like you do examples papers throughout the term and you have supervisions which go through those questions. Once you've kind of mastered the basics just by doing that, just doing the practice past papers, I think that's that's the best way to go forward. Mm, great. And uh, overall, how would you rate being at Cambridge, like your Cambridge experience, and was it worth all the effort of getting in and that kind of stuff? Yeah, I think it definitely was. Um, obviously, this time hasn't been great because of coronavirus. Um, but in the past, it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed making all the friends I've made here. I've enjoyed spending time with people. Um, yeah, I, I personally like just being away from home. I know some people get homesick. Um, obviously, I really love being at home as well, but it's nice to have some more independence at uni. Um, nice to sort of be able to do my own thing. Um, I guess you get that at any university. But Cambridge is a very nice place to be in. Mm. Great. Well, uh, thank you very much for coming, Alex.